As you guys have blown action, dub by me, Mark Kaida. My little ponies, isn't it? Episode 8, the parent map. Let's get this episode started. Okay, just an umpire. Nice fight. Ship. 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 Yes, much better than your original link. Ship. 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 Oh, ship. Oh, wait. Oh. That's how he's paid? Carrots? Carrots. <laughs> <laughs> This carrot's up in the middle of the That's a good horse, you can That is a goal. one carat gold. Really? Well, 24 carat. <laughs> Feel the apple cream in the jigger. Morning, sunburst. What? Oh, hi. Get oh, your head hi. out of the book. Hello. You know, no matter how many times I read it, Winnem's Guide to Magical Arcana never gets boring. That's like so. a Beauty and the Beast reference right there. I've got another <laughs> yeah. For you. The Bell goes to the library. Hollow. She's running like a billion times. Sure thing. <laughs> no payment for you. Okay, no. Get oh, lost. wow. <laughs> um. They uh, don't okay. open up these letters? That's a lot of letters. Uh. uh she's being called by the map. Wow, we just got one of one ep one ep ep episode. I swear he's just tingling. <laughs> Nerd! Oh, my cutie mark is glowing. Yeah. My cutie mark is glowing! I know what this means! Well, with the title of the Forever Map, I think... I don't know! Or that it was going to be a... My little phone. My little phone. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ship. <laughs> Finally, I went a ship before. <laughs> I guess you could call that. Back. Oh, hello, Mrs. K. Uh, Mrs. K. It says Twilight. What an honor this is. Ship. I, it is, right? I like that we're bringing back I the for map. A ship mission? Maybe a draft. <laughs> like it's you sure back are, up. and it must be a special one. No pony outside of Ponyville has ever uh, been called uh. before. <laughs> if you need some pointers, let me know. Grab it on my fish. Oh, goodness. Okay. You've been on one. Fight. Yes. And, that's and it was one of the worst fish. episodes of uh, season seven. <laughs> Starlight. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh nice, 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 nice. Ooh, you don't look. Yeah, great. Please. Yeah, good. Yeah. Aren't you excited? You and me. Uh, on a ship. Yeah, ship. 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 I'm sorry. Are, are some you not excited stars, to go on a mission? Go crazy. No. Really? <laughs> Thomas. Uh, no, I mean yes. <laughs> totally excited about us going together. Just. So Are they going back to her where? old village? Mm. It's got it. Sire's Hollow. Sire's Hollow. Oh. Yep. Home. Yep. Oh, oh. oh, this is. Oh, that's where they came from. That's where they came from. Sire's Hollow. Sire's you know, Hollow. Sire's Hollow. I can go with you two. Is that a reference to Sire's Hollow or something like that? Mm. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want you to go with us. We're flying alone. Give us some privacy. We want to kiss each other now. We it's want to be Starbucks. I don't want to go home. It's just that whenever I do, where have I seen this? My dad treats oh, me like a uh, I'm like nothing has changed since I was almost the episode. Oh, oh yeah, no, it was the season six finale when she didn't want to go back to uh, no, the no. equal village. My mom village. actually does kind of the same yeah. thing. Equal, equal town. town. Really? Equal is town. It, is it I that you have to go home? I wish she didn't want to go back to um, Sunburst. She doesn't want to go back and face her demon. It's a quick. You need a plan. Uh, uh, I haven't been home in a while either. Hmm. We'll just have to explain to our parents that we're on an important friendship oh. mission, so they can't bother us. Do you okay. think that will work? Nope. We are going to be <laughs> so <laughs> Nope. This is going to be interesting. That was a weird audio transition. The great thing about home is it always stays well, We finally know where the star wall comes from. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Where did that come from? Exactly. Welcome to 
welcome to Cyrus Hollow. Oh no, no. Real estate. Why is that like the sound? <laughs> oh, I thought that was gonna be raw for a second. God damn it. Uh huh. What is it? Uh, chocolate, maybe? <laughs> Not chocolate, maybe. Chocolate, definitely. And all of the best. Oh, is this with the chocolate Siri polymer? It looks like DKNY. Is this a Siri polymer? Did this used to be a fruit stand? No. I don't know what it used to be. The Cyrus I get this. This is so. Uh huh. It's like the K and Y. I'm changed. It changes you over can time. Get a fruit smoothie, two doors down. Who's that voice? All oh, the shops are different. Everything's changed. Time does go Not by. Everything. That's the Flies, same as it yeah. ever was. That pony Up fly. the orphanage. The orphanage. Or the library. library. One of the two. Bookstore. Ship. Sorry, Ship. our bookstore has been declared a site of historical significance by the Cyrus there, Hollow uh, Preservation anything... Society. Uh, you um, have to book bomb. experience the books from here. Uh, That's what? why windows are see-through. What? Are you what? sure you're not making what? out in the... <laughs> Preservation Society? What is happening around here? I'll explain it to you, sugar pie. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hello, Starlight. Yeah. 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 Dad, quit it. What is going oh, on? Oh, it's her dad. Oh, dad. Just a father That's wanting to preserve Starlight's town's rich history. Oh, oh no. Pumpkin. <laughs> Dad, you promise no pumpy wumpkins in public. <laughs> oh no! Cheeks. <laughs> Pitching your cheeks. You're preserving the whole town. That's crazy. That's exactly what I told him. Oh dear. I said, That's Firelight, mom? you're crazy. That's well, his okay. mom. Mom. Our village needs to be a new sunburst. A clear plan for the future. Wait, uh, no. Oh, no, That's why I away. started the Cyrus Hollow Cut the goatee. He's, um, um, cut the goatee. I've got plans for this little town. Big plans. He's a pony, oh, not no. a goat. I have seen this reference. Listen here, Stellar Player. I'm not gonna let you turn our historical uh -oh. heritage into Lost Pegasus. Uh-huh. That's clearly a red color of a white thing. Oh, oh, dear. Yeah. Are you two fighting over this? Like what having a friendship problem? Again. Oh, there's no problem. Yo, there because is, there is, there is no friendship. Wow. Oh. Well, the good news is, we know why we're here. Kind of like, this is stone a bit. What's nice? <laughs> oh my god, here comes the R34 artwork. Yeah. I can see it already. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like the Sunburst well, and I... I were called here to do a job, and it looks like you two are it. Oh yes. I mean, your success. So it's like the us. apples in the pears, basically. Yeah. Having a little cute. Oh dear. Um well, I wanna see a stat and I wanna see her month. for this town is perfectly reasonable. Good luck convincing me my preservation efforts don't make sense. Okay, man style's about the same. Really? Well, now we can get where the oh, creepiness came from in uh, Equal that Town. Voice. So we can't uh, hold the books. <laughs> thank you, Starlight, for that no. voice. Can you hold the books? That like radio no. reminds me of uh, so no when the main six were left in the books? room in Equal Town. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she adorable? <laughs> oh man, the faces from far along. Doesn't that remind you of season five, episode one? Yes. A lot. Actually, it's uh, episode you two. You can call them smells, oh, but I call them as that sugar bell of Equal Town. What does it sound like? At the too bad there's nowhere to get actual fruit. In the future, all ponies will drink their fruit. Uh. Um, <laughs> well, smoothies are now canon. Oh, wow. 100% ancient pony grains. Just like the town founders. I'm gonna say that's piece of uh, <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Stone. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Uh, Starlight, what have you done to this town? 
Welcome. 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 Okay, it's annoying. I get it. Yes, please. Very yes. annoying. And creepy. Maybe my preservation efforts were a little over the top. Uh huh. <laughs> and I might have been trying to turn oh, no. down into the shop. No. So we got someone that wants well, to be old, and when they want to like spruce things up. We work together on it. Yeah. yeah. Sunburst. You oh, should nice move eyes. closer to Ponyville. After this success, I'm sure the Princess of Friendship will want to send you on more missions. <laughs> that is so my mother. That's not really how it works. That is so my oh, mom. Oh, look at the time. We <laughs> Oh, oh shit! shit, right, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> yeah, the thing uh, is, I don't think we did solve it. Nope. When no, we solve the friendship uh, problem, I say ass. I want my coffee. Oh, don't be really? disappointed, Puddin. Your papa will work this out for you. Uh, East Dropper. <laughs> my papa wasn't called by the map in Twilight's castle. I was. <laughs> It's like fuck this on out. Guy. How are you going to explain this to the princess? What's your plan if she fires you from friendship quest? Oh my god, overprotective mother. If she doesn't it, it's not use your words, Sunburst. That's the horse noise. Now you don't even know why you're here? Uh, we have to figure this out before we run out of time. Which help looks this place? Um, there isn't a time limit. No. So you're here for an extra long visit? <laughs> you can stay in your old room. Yeah. Shit, shit. Oh my like god, what are we going to see at Starlight's Pass? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what was she was that? a god. To find this she was a god. Now. Uh, now, I know you have your little job to oh do, Oh my god, she was a god. And I know the town a lot better than you two. Oh, That's right. Neither of you have been home in ages. You're going to need our help to succeed. Really? Oh god. Oh, shit. Starlight is not amused. <laughs> hey, Me too. Yeah. Oh wow, it's like Twilight 2.0 and oh, Twilight 2.5. <laughs> okay. Interesting beard, though, oh, this right? is this, okay. is this is the house uh -huh. in the in the flashback. Now that I've explained how Cyrus Hollow was founded, we can start to explore all the possible friendship problems that might have developed over time. It doesn't time. work like that. Hey Potter, Gothic's hello. I hello. appreciate the history lesson, Dad, but I need to find the problem now. Yeah, this is in the present. Sat on the, the oh, table in the present. Oh, no, Bun How are you gonna fun do fun. that without all the backstory? This, huh? this is where Sunburst got a, his cutie mark. Oh, of course I know. Yeah, if I say being sit still and focus. Looks like so, it. Yeah. Yeah. Like from the book pile. Help you pay yeah. attention to hold on to your blankie. Uh oh. Oh, right. come on. Oh. <laughs> but it's a veil. Focus the veil. Uh, now you've had a little setback, but don't worry, I know exactly what you need to do. Make awesome. a plan. Already got one. Step one, well, that's right, yeah, the suspect. Step two, that is so Tabitha. That's gotta issue. be Tabitha. Step three, get the princess of friendship to send you on more missions. It sounds like Luna, a little bit. Mom, it does not work like exactly. that. Exactly. No. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm trying to say. <coughs> oh, thank goodness you yeah. are here. These two ponies refuse to use my essences. Oh, come because on. Because you suck. <laughs> Maybe because we don't like to cover our natural skin. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. And uh. she refuses to buy our books. Huh? But she won't let him in there in the first place. This is a friendship problem. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it needs to be a real friendship problem. Uh, you can just make one up. <laughs> this is what happens when we don't rehearse. Be uh, hey, quiet. You don't rehearse friendship. Yep. I found a really old town bylaw that no pony agrees on. A that is not how not it works. To prance or after dinner time. <sighs> Someone looks into them. There I am. What are you doing? Hiding from my mother. She started making up friendship problems for me to solve. <laughs> my dad won't even let me talk to any pony in case they're strangers. I'm a grown man. Oh <sighs> You're never going to find the friendship problem with them around. They are the problem. Solve it. <laughs> Maybe you two should start looking for it on your own. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the fabulous. That's like a callback uh, to Griffin's song. I did say that. Okay, so we wanted to talk to all of you, you know, in private. Just to see if there were issues any of you had with your friends. Got it. Just oh. one question. Why are we whispering? That's like... Are they that. hiding their parents? Uh, yes, uh, it is. Of course. No, but not sugar bell arranged that meeting. Taking a break. Yeah. The her we bakery. Focus, but we're definitely not avoiding them. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. So you're whispering with all of us in the darkest corner of the shop, <laughs> where no pony can possibly see, because you're not avoiding them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they definitely can't hear us in here, right? No way! This is the antique. You can shout like that. You Nobody can again. ever comes back here. Nobody cares. There you are. Oh, oh. my. What are you doing in here? Hello, Starlight's dad. Is the friendship problem in my favorite section of the bookstore? Oh. Uh, mm. Thanks a lot, Big and then I thought the best way to look for a friendship problem in the presence Dad it was does to look back in our This is where she the learned the time. time spells. Sunburst! Oh no. Finally! Now, I know you don't want me to make up a problem, but what if I start one? No. No! No, 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 no. that's I mean, Lesson no zero. Ever Lesson a success zero. By following all the rules, right? Start that clip. How are things on your end? Couldn't be horse better, new leads and such. Guys, leads. Is that in your really are providing Stop. excellent assistance, aren't we? They Guys, are the problem. I dare Stop! Should be <laughs> Guys! We don't we want, want your help! Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, you don't want our help? No. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. What reason could you possibly have for that? Because you're driving us crazy! <laughs> oh, really? And just how am I driving you crazy? Being overprotective? I'm always coming up with plans! I don't need a plan! I mean, maybe I do, but it'll be mine, not yours! It's his responsibility. Well... I'm out. sorry for trying to help. Uh, <laughs> that's like the rainbow uh, parents of the parental guidance. I'm that's not a that's billy. Now, I'm so. a grown pony with a job to do, and I'll do it on my own. Broken ties with the parents. That's the friendship well, issue. I'll let you get to it then. Fancy. Uh, this kind of reminds me of Gaston. Smooth things over with our parents on top of finding and solving a friendship problem. <sighs> It's cool. almost like our relationship with our parents is the friendship. Mm -hmm. You don't think that's it, do you? Yes. <clears throat> that's what all of us think. Uh, <laughs> why couldn't we have been sent to stop a war or something? Okay, that is not a pleasant... Oh, shit! Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to make that be now. That could so <laughs> easily be altered to be... Hello, Ms. Glimmer. How is your Ooh. friendship problem search going? I only ask as an interested observer, since I know you are an adult who's capable of doing things without help from any pony else. This is so parental guidance all over again. <laughs> I think Sunburst and I figured out what it is. So, Stellar and I weren't really helpful after all. Hey, that's a beer! Well, we haven't actually Stella. solved it. And I don't think we can. Not without you. It's an interesting key, Mark. Teamwork? <laughs> Is it like teamwork? In a way? Pungent. Pungent. Oh, did you come by to be driven crazy by more of your mother's plans? No, I came to apologize. Well, it's going to take more than an apology to make up for telling me you don't want my help finding your friendship problem. Oh, I'm not mm. sorry for that. Starlight and I already figured out what the problem is. This is a terrible apology. Oh dear. Well, if you come with me come and help on. fix it, I'll give you a better one. one. It's like... Usually Twilight or one of our other friends yeah. gets called to a place with a friendship problem to fix. That's true. But Starlight and I realized we came here to fix a friendship problem we already had. I'm sorry I've been avoiding coming home, Dad. But you can't keep treating me like a fool. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry, Sugar Bun. No. <sighs> No, 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 no. I just know how hard things were for you when you left home. 
I guess I wanted you to feel safe, like when you were young. Dad, I know I've made some mistakes, and I'll probably make a bunch more. Mm -hmm. But I learned from them. Is that? Yeah, that's what growing is up that is. like a a hint? I am sorry I never told you how much your plans bothered me, and I know you just want me to succeed, but I need to do that on my own. Hmm. Yeah. I remember how lost you were when you flunked out of magic school. I thought as long school? as you had a plan, you'd never yeah, feel that it, way again. Yeah, it didn't. You don't have to so worry. Didn't I need to find my own way. Throughout the whole I semester. Don't feel no, lost no. Anymore. You dropped out. Yeah. And that's the friendship. Uh, oh, that's wow. Us. <laughs> the glowy did it is such a symbol of accomplishment. I don't suppose there's a way for you to get it to glow all the time. Oh my god, really? Oh, no, no, sure it doesn't work that does way. not look not right. Not unless we solve the friendship yeah. problem every few seconds, and I kind of hope this one will be it for a while. You know, it seems to me your map is saying we're not just your parents. <laughs> we're your friends, too. Yes. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Your family is always so your friends. If I promise yeah. to treat you less like a little filly and more like a friend, will you visit more? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Aww. 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 And if you start to drive me crazy again, I'll tell you instead of never coming home. Mm -hmm. That's lovely of you to say, dear. But you know, I can always visit you. That's true. Stellar, you're a genius! <laughs> How do you feel? Shit, 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 shit. You might have a few plans for that. Does she make beer? <laughs> oh, the toy. That's out of here! <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Adamson, uh, Stella, Claire. Uh, okay, that was my little pony season eight, episode eight, the poet man. What do you think of it, of this episode, babe? Uh, it was good. I I knew from the beginning that it wasn't a friendship problem between Starlight and Sunburst mum and dad. I knew it was them getting along with their parents again. In a sense. But it was good. It was in, very good. Very in a good. sense they both learned a lesson. All yeah. all the four All four of them learned a lesson. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Only thing that was slightly disappointing was that I kinda knew from the beginning that what it was already gonna be about. Yeah. Without even knowing spoilers, I could when it started I just knew. So kind of like no surprise. Well, with the name I know what the name is referencing. The parent trap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Disney film. <laughs> Two long yeah, lost it was, uh, it was good. sisters it was... or divorced parents. Yeah, it seems pretty relevant. I give it uh, an eight out of ten. I give it an eight out of ten. Yeah. Okay, this one was definitely like uh, parental guidance 2.0. Honestly, it wasn't bad by any means. But I actually enjoyed this one. I'm actually very relevant to the message because my parents are embarrassing as shit. <laughs> like, my mom, still, she's the embarrassing one. My dad, at points, can still treat me like I am. Yeah, the message here, um, Starlight's father uh, pretty much treats her too much like a foal still. Like, still sees her as the little girl that that he's he you know raised i guess there's not really much known on their pasts um no. but yeah i my dad can do that at some points where he treats me like i'm still a teenager or or a, or a like clueless person on you know things that I know how to clearly do. Uh, then my parents do that. They treat me like I'm a two-year-old. And then there's my mother, who is oh. the embarrassing one. She will embarrass me in public, and she won't give a shit because that's her job as a parent. But, golly, not really much to say about it. It reminded me a lot of Season 5, Episode 1. Big time. Yeah. Like... The freaking message thing coming into the town, I'm like, Oh my god, that creepy voice! Oh. Is this... Stainless, there is peace. 
Exceptionalism is a lie. Free yourself from your cutie mark. Choose a quality. Uh, uh, get ready for the bloopers. Here's my mom. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Would you just get out, please? Speaking of the parents, Matt. I'm sorry, but... You're talking about parents and your mum walks in. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to embarrass me. You are. I can hear her. No, you're staring right at me. That's not helping me. <laughs> Anyways, um... <laughs> but Sunburst's mother, basically, that message when they come into the town, uh, the, uh, welcome to, what was it called? Silo... Something. Silent, Silent Hollow. Silent Hollow. Uh, Silent Hollow or something like that. What was the name of that show? Silent Hill. No, not Silent Hill. Seriously? <laughs> Film. Uh, something Hollow. I can't remember. Uh, Death, Go- Deathly Hollow. Gothic Hollow. Harry Potter. No. Hmm. It's De- Deathly Hollows, but... But I don't... I don't know. Anywho. Anyways, but... We got to go back to their pasts and learn a little bit about, you know, where they came from and all that stuff. But Sire Hollow is an uh, interesting name and very uh, relevant to the horse puns. Um, but, yeah, God, it's hard to really put any thoughts into this one. This one was just, like, we learned... It reminded me of um, Season 5 opener because of that message at the gate and mm-hmm. just the fact that it's a small town and has characters yeah it reminded me a lot of season five episode one and two because of you know just how the town was organized even the baker like being like uh not sweetie belt yeah like the baker being like sugar bell who can't um bake for shit bake because yeah. he forgot to apparently add a uh, baking powder that's also <laughs> reminiscent of uh, the um, just like the, Il- yeah, like Sugar Bell who can't bake because she forgot to add the baking powder or something. She can't bake, period. And that remi- that baker who had like the solid bread that was as hard as a rock. That reminded me a lot of season five, episodes one and two. The meeting in the library that reminded me very much of when you know they trick the main six into right that there. trap and bam, get their key marks uh, stolen. <clears throat> but yeah, this one, there's really not really much to say on it. I mean, it's just straight and to the point. They didn't want to go back because they didn't want to face their parents. And only when they realize, you know, their parents were, you know, you know, their relationship with their parents is the friendship issue. They don't have a full connection with their parents. Did they, you know, you know, that, that's a good lesson. I'm not saying it's a bad lesson, but definitely not what I was expecting. I knew we were going to meet the parents. I mean, come on, the freaking title says says that for you it's a reference to the parent trap which is about two sisters that get uh yeah the parent trap is about two sisters that get separated when they're still young and the parents divorce and then they meet each other due to a photo that they have being like split in half and they attach it realizing that they're you know connected yeah very very relevant and it matches the title very well this one was kind of hard to like put together all in one you know sitting so I'm probably going to have to watch this one a lot more before I can give it, like, a solid rating. Yeah. But for now, this was actually a really good episode. I actually enjoyed it. I didn't hate it. It was just cool to kind of see that kind of lesson put into play. And, my God, you fucking notifications. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, seeing I'm going to have to rewatch this one a lot more before I can give it, like, a solid rating. But, yeah, that's all I can say about it. It was a fun episode, very relevant especially to me and yeah very reminiscent of season five episodes one two uh the griffin stone episode and whatever other ones i said anyways on to you um thomas what did you think of this episode uh well i must say it's got a it's got very good humor in it i did find some references like the name of some best mom uh stella is a reference to the beer, so maybe she could be making beer because she's Stella. Seriously? Oh, come on. 
Cue Apple have, Bloom! Do we have to make out with Stella on floor now to, to just have some beer? <laughs> Wait, what was her name again? Seriously. She was called Stella. Stella. Uh, her I... main style kind of reminded me of Cindy Lauper. It, yeah, especially with Rainbow's mom in the yeah. book. In a way, Stella and Wendy have something in common because they have similar styles to Cindy Lauper. Girls just yep. want to have fun. I, caught, I did catch that too. Uh, I'm like, her main style looks very familiar. Then, yeah, parental guidance. I even said parental guidance is very much like this episode. I don't know if that's a... Like a Easter egg or something? It, it is like parental guidance, but different. And yeah. also with the, the mares in the in the library, it kind of gave me the wrong idea. If you think about it, they're isolated, they're isolated in that library. Wow. So they that could be their um, <clears throat> love nest. Be the <clears throat> it could be their love nest. Seriously? Oh, two fit two mares in a library, isolated. They could be making out. Hell, Twilight because... would be in freaking heaven. <laughs> ah, now God. who's Melissa? Fucking hell. Apparently, but apparently one of the, apparently her could, could be girlfriend stinks. But, uh, oh, oh, anyway, uh, I'll skip that one. Uh, what? What? Yeah, yeah I'm like, I listening, don't I'm know. Like, I don't what know. the fudge are you talking about? Doesn't matter, forget it, forget it. Uh... It wasn't what I was expecting at all. Um, no, because... no, no. Oh, no, no, no! I was kind of thinking it could have been like a, an announcement saying that me and me and Sunburst, we're kind of an item now. So Starburst would be born, but... Hmm. Seriously? It didn't turn out that way. Seriously? <sighs> no, but instead of the, the actual problem came into the parents... I think I'm going to give this episode, for now, an 8. Yeah, it's kind of hard to sum it all up in, like, just watching it, like, once. Because it's kind of something you have to... Watch. I don't know. You have to really to analyze. You have to really watch quite a few times to understand, you know, what exactly is going on here. I mean, I mean, it makes kind of... It's hard to follow. Like, the entire time I'm watching, I'm like, I'm trying to keep up. But a lot of this, I mean, is it the parents that are the friendship problem? No, it's the relationship between Starburst. Starburst, oh god damn it. Starburst. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Pretty sweet tooth out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Anywho. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, uh, what, what I was going to say as well was, with, with the creepy voice in the gate, it was more... Yeah, that's creepy. Well, so, season five... Oops, episode sorry. two, Cutie Map Part Two. When when the main six were on that house, listening to Starlight's brainwashing voice. That's what I, that's what I said. I was like, that is very reminiscent of when the main six are locked in that room, and they're hearing that message over and over again as a, an attempt to brainwash them. So that would that be, so so kind of creepy. So does that mean since? Um, Starlight's dad is an eavesdropper. Did he kind of eavesdrop in Starlight's village without us noticing? I don't know. I Have mean, you got the idea. <laughs> I want to. I actually want to see Starlight's mother. I yeah. am kind of curious as to what sort of character she is. I mean, if the father is the one who still treats their kid like they're, you know, still in their fill years, or for mm -hmm. humans in their like, you know, toddler years, mother. Uh, okay. okay, father, and she's the one who, and she's the one who, how can I explain this, thinks that she knows basically how to do things and not even give the their child, you know, the chance to come up with something. I, I can't really explain the whole ordeal behind Starburst's mother. That's the thing. I really have a hard time understanding her character and what sort of character she is. Yeah, that was the one character that I I, I didn't understand. Well, the one like, thing I the one thing I think I know she could be an organizer. I mean, Starlight's father is easy to read. It's my father basically treating me like I don't know shit. He still thinks I'm a kid when I, literally I am twenty three years old and I am an adult. With with, Star, with Sunburst's mother, I think she's an organizer because when Sunburst said um, I have a plan and she says I've already got one. In a rarity kind of voice. 
Um, I, I, think... I, I feel like Tabitha uh, was in there at one point with one of the... What point was it? Oh, it was... Uh, it, was it was Starburst. Mo- Starburst. God damn it. Stella. Yeah, Starburst. Star, yeah. whatever his name is. Aive. Sunburst. Yeah. Sunburst mother is called St- uh, Stella. Uh, but yeah, Sunburst mother... Did I say that right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Sunburst either. mother is, you know, her, her character was the one that was hard to kind of keep up with when Starlights is really, really easy to keep up with. So that, that's my ranking so far, 8 out of 10. Yeah, there, there, were, there were quite a few um, references. Referencing. Referencing. <laughs> Referencing, referencing, reference, yeah, references. Because the 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 living room that they went into was basically where Hal Star first got his cutie mark in the first place. Yeah, I didn't actually catch that yeah, until well, I looked at the So I'm like, oh. It's a t- the table. Even even the, is it last season when St- and St- Starlight turned into Freeze? Nope, that would have been season five. No, I mean, no, Starlight. No, when they play that ball game. Oh, yeah, that ball. was season five. No, the ball game. That, that, that ball. No. Oh, that was season six. That, that was season six. six. Yeah, it was like, that, that was like Donald and Jack weapons, and she transformed into Young Phillies. Starlight? What happened? Maud and I found some fascinating sedimentary stratum, but when I turned to show you, you were gone. Maud does have a way of making rocks really interesting, but I wanted to work on something a little more us. What's this? Just a little something I made up. Whoa! You made up this spell? Just now? Yeah. There's more! Cool, right? Um, sure. Now we can play Dragon Pit, just like we used to. Actually, I thought we could go with Maud and... I mean, nothing was better than just you and me playing this game when we were fools, right? Starlight. Do you want to be red or blue? Starlight! I don't want to play the game at all! Yeah, that was season six. That was, yeah. uh... That was episode 20... Fuck. It was 20... Uh... Three. Four. 24. Because 24 was going into 25 and 26. Yep, it was 24. And they, they kind of reference it Last season, oh, oh. no, last season when it was the it was the one we found about the about the book of Star Wars the Bearded. Yeah, that was that would have been episode twenty four because twenty five, twenty six would have been next. Yeah, but that wasn't season six. That was season seven. There wasn't many. I, I don't know. There wasn't many dialogue in this episode. Not so reason. Yeah, it was really. It's really hard to kind of give a word on without watching it again. Yeah, you don't get the full you know story. You don't get the full, full, you know, idea of what's going on here. Yeah. I'm just going to say full in one sentence. And I mean, it's really, it's really simple to understand, you know, what the lesson is. They have, like, tough, uh, they have a tough, they don't have a very strong bond with their parents. And yeah. It's a, reason, it's a really good reasoning. And it, uh, well, kind of silly reasoning, And actually. their town was quite small. Yeah, it's like Eagle Town. Twown? Town. Equal, equal town. It kind of reminded me as well when I think about it. <laughs> oh, dude, that was... Rainbow Dash's yeah. dad as well when it opens. The door. Yes. I uh, installed the sound effects myself. <laughs> 
pretty great, huh? That's yeah, what I said. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> I've heard that myself. Oh, the you mean the door that has the sound effects? Yeah. Yeah, the choir. And I installed the sound effect myself. And also the brainwash thing I heard from downstairs. Yes, I heard that. That is creepy. That's, that's, I'm, that's I'm sorry, like but that, when I heard that multiple times, like, that's fucking creepy. <laughs> Welcome to Sally Hollow. Welcome to Sally Hollow. And I said Gothic Welcome Hollow. To Sally Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. That's what I was looking for. Sleepy Hollow. All right. The with the guy with the missing head. What was his name? The headless horseman. Yeah. Sleepy Hollow. That's what I was trying to think of. Now we need to see if there's any like um, Easter eggs in the. Uh, there must be some sort of fucking Easter eggs in these. Yeah. That. Episodes. Yeah, that's why I said you, you've got to watch it more than once. This is definitely one you have yeah. to watch more than once to understand what is going on. What's the full, you know, are there Easter eggs in there? What is the full story here? Well, the only is thing we know, the only possibility, thing we... like, is there a possibility of, you know, seeing Starlight's mother, what she looked like? Or is there, yeah, you know, where's her mother? First of all, where the hell is the mother? Is she dead? Could have been divorced. Are they divorced? She's been moved somewhere else in Ponyville. How did she end Ponyville. up in an orphanage if she has a father? How did they end up in an orphanage if they have parents? Yeah, but you could still maybe like, they can't, couldn't afford to um, provide yeah, them. Yeah, you, you can still time. your parents can still send you to an orphanage if you don't want to, if you can't afford to keep you. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's like the uh, the Victorian times. Whether that or they when ran they were, away, I can see why they would have ran away. I. Could see why they would have ran away, because yep. clearly they're the biological parents. Like uh, Sunburst's mother has the white things on her hooves uh, that Sunburst has, so yeah, that's biological. But every world I come. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where is Starlight's mother? That's my question. God damn yeah. it! <laughs> like, is she a wow. schemer? Is she no. possibly going to be part of the season finale? No. no. Because I think Starlight is actually in Starburst's um house. Sunburst. Sunburst. Yeah. Sunburst. Said Starlight. Star Starburst <laughs> again. Yeah. Star oh my Light. god. See, see, uh, we want the st we right. want the Starburst. Starlight is in Sunburst's house. Maybe like a like a like a summer party or lot. Or... If they were in the same house, that would have been Starlight. Yes, I said that right. If they were in that same house as in the episode, that would have been Starlight's house. Yeah, yeah. I can tell that. Because hurt. of the pile of books. Now, is that the same mirror that we saw, just saw in the um, in the episode? That that's the same mirror. That that is that is. That that's Stella the beer. Oops. <laughs> for a moment, I thought. <laughs> yeah. You can, for a, for a moment, I thought that was uh, what's her face is. Uh, she even house. looks like beer because. Look, look, yeah, at her look at her hooves. Look at her hooves. That's the front. Yes, that's what I was saying. You can that's tell it's front. biological because, hello, the white thing's on the hooves. No, no, I'm saying Stella looks like the beer because the hooves look like the <laughs> bra and she looks like apparently the beer. I've never, apparently, I've never seen this beer. Uh, Is it beer in the UK called Stella? But it's actually a Belgian beer. <laughs> And that's probably why well, I've never they seen sell it. it in the UK. That's why I said it. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why I've never seen it before. Okay, we've seen like, her, we've seen the parents before, at least for for the have, for some. Yeah, of us. at least the father. We've seen the father. Uh, we yeah. haven't seen the mother of Starlight Glimmer. If they yeah. come in with a twist that freaking Chrysalis is her mother, I'm gonna freaking what? <laughs> yeah. Oh god, here comes the fan fiction. Oh, oh god, a bit a bit of Star Wars. No, Starlight. I Why? am your mother. Calm down. No! You have a ranking for this episode, Mark? Uh, I think it's pretty hard to give a ranking. I, I have to say, it was a good episode. But, mate, I would give it at least an eight or nine. But I think so. There's, we got it. I think there's a more more to this episode than meets the eye. Really. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah. Uh, so we've got an eight from Thomas. I gave it a nine for now, uh, and you gave it eight, eight or nine ish. Yeah. So probably about eight point five. And uh, what did Jesse give it? Eight. Eight. So mostly an eight or a nine, like yeah. around that area. No oh, golden apple jack this week, but this season isn't bad at all so far. 
uh, it kind of went on the weak point for uh, like like the beginning of the season was excellent. Then they had like two about two or three episodes that sucked. Well, didn't suck, but just weren't the best. Yeah. Then we got to the one with uh, uh, Terramar, uh, you know, having conflictions between going to Sequestria or staying on land. That one was where it really started to get good episodes again. Because <clears throat> we had CMC turning into sea ponies. Um, freaking Apple Geek went off a of freaking... <laughs> <laughs> Twilight Castle? Summoned by the map. Someone <laughs> We're being called by the map? Did I mention This is a total coincidence! I did not plan this! <laughs> so I swear this is needed. pure coincidence. Actually, where you're going isn't even in Equestria. Wow, that's almost Crystal Empire? But what's way out there? Mount Eris? Mount Eris. <laughs> and that's where you're headed. Oh! <laughs> yeah. He's gonna, check, he's gonna check this. He's gonna do a check thing, and because he wanted to see Starlight and uh, Sunburst parents. And the quarrel between uh, Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo. Really? Because because of the. Because Are you really the, giving me that much shit? <laughs> Scooty because, Bell. because the the quarrel, the quarrel between them two about the decision about living in either Sequestria. Or, oh, oh, like yeah. the conflict, that's the yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then there was the Celestia okay. one, which was just a fun bundle of joy. That one was freaking hilarious, and even to call Oliver, uh, like she yeah. even said she had a blast recording it. She was she was a Pinkie Pie in that episode. I wouldn't say she was a Pinkie Pie. I just felt like she was a regular uh, pony, literally. She might be an alicorn, but she's also a pony on the inside. Like, uh, clearly, it's hard to she's really a bit, give us. She's a bit Philly second as well. I reckon there should be a hiatus coming up soon as well. Probably around episode 13. That's yeah. when the hiatus begins. Yeah. Well, it's just clouds coming in. I can All I can hope is that season 8 just keeps going strong. Because yeah. so far, it's really delivered. Yeah. Like, I don't know if we're... I, I'm expecting an episode based around the Changeling Kingdom soon. Seeing we haven't had anything on that as of late. The last time we saw anything to do with the changelings was um the pharynx episode, the one where pharynx is uh, brought to the yeah light. yeah when he changed. That was not even funny that I just said that he was he's brought to the light in the freak in the freaking episode. <laughs> Come into the light. Come into the join light. us. Join, join us. I'm not bombs. Have you got anything to add before we close off? Just keep going strong, season eight. That's all I can um, say. Not well, one of your stronger say... episodes, but still, this was a good episode. Not well, a bad one at all. And what I need to say is, Gilda, please come back. Bring Griffin down back. back. You can blame it all on Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> and we also need to see Babs as well because since she had a cutie mark, she was like poop. Disappeared. Yeah, that was another one of Apple poop. Geek's. That, that was another one of Apple Geek's uh, thing, wanting to see more of a uh, Bab Seed. She works in Manhattan. We know that for a fact. Yes, but we haven't seen her scissors cutie mark yet. Is she actually a stylist, or is it the wrong? I think it was scissors. Idea. If I remember correct. Wasn't it yeah. scissors? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was scissors. But yeah. they may think but she's, she's a, a stylist. Designer. She may, they may think that she's a stylist, but it could lead into the wrong direction. Like maybe, oh, I don't know, sweeping hair. One of those jobs. Let's snip out of that section now with the scissors. I just hope, I just really hope she's not working for Siri Seriously? Polymer. Otherwise, that'd be horrible. Okay. What is next week's episode? Next week's episode is Non Complete Cause. Interesting title. Yeah. Yeah. You should see the week after that's next title. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know what next week is. It's um uh, the breakup uh, 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 or uh, breakdown. Uh, 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 right. No, I'm not. I'm just saying what the episode's called. All oh, right. Uh, the spoilers. Break up, the the breakup. The break. Um. Right now. Whatever. Okay, that was my Lapani season eight, episode eight, the parent map, and we will see you next week in oh, seven days. Oh, bye, bye 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 for now. Bye.
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Stella. Stella Ottawa. Yeah.